the deal? No, that's oxtail. Oh, oxtail. I'm gonna be like my no no. This is what my no no would do. She'd load it up with a little bit of Parmesan. Just a little bit. restaurant and basically there's a huge line behind me right now for this restaurant and it's like 10 o'clock at night if that could tell you anything of how good this place was if you're here you have to try this place delicious maybe the best meal I've ever had in Italy ever and here we are again at Ostia this is the second time here. They just hand roll all the pasta so it's really thick noodles and then the sauce that they have also just soaks it all up. It's the most amazing ordeal here. And the noodles are really thick, handmade noodles. The porchetta. They have zucchini, zucchini flowers. This pasta is like to die for. Show the tiramisu uh, at this place, wow. which is also to die for. There's like no lady fingers in this. It's just all cream. Hey. Remember it when you make yours. Like, oh. It's all just cream and, and not very much espresso. It's the most delicious. It's very fluffy and creamy. We took a taxi over here to this place called La Prosciutteria. This is the place I have been dreaming about for I don't know how long, like seven years since the last time we were in Italy. This place is so unique. It, um, it's basically like a wine bar and you get these platters of, um, or boards I should say, charcuterie boards of um, meat and cheese and just a whole bunch of little things to nibble on. You also uh, get some wine. It's like a meal in itself. They have actually different locations of this store. So it's a chain here in Italy. There was a couple in Florence. I've never been to this one in Milan. So they have two locations here in Milan and I think they have two in Florence and they also have one in Rome. So if you're ever in any of those cities in Italy, I would highly recommend checking this one out.
we're sitting here waiting for our board to come now. But Mickey just went up to the counter and basically said, uh, large board, you don't really pick and choose what you get. They just kind of choose for you and they bring it out to you. So I love that because it's like a random surprise. And so we're going to see what we're going to get. Oh, looks good. Thank Are you, you excited, Lazo? Yeah. Hey, don't, don't, don't touch it yet. It looks so good, huh? No, no! Laza wanted the fruit. Laza. Okay, I think this is a pecorino. What do you call that? Some kind of spread. Mortadella. Some salad. Uh, arugula salad. This is some more um, cheese that looks like maybe a hard cheese. like. Oh, there's some kind of uh, spread right now. Looks good, huh? Is this what you like, Lazo? This is like, That's actually the it's name. a truffle cream spread. Oh. Really good. This is like peas. I think it's a peas spread. I've never had anything like this. It's delicious. So good. Try that. You'll like it. I love peas. I can't say anything bad about this. It's jam and cheese. Unless you don't like peas. I don't like peas at all. Mm. You don't like this one? No. I like it's cheese a lot. Mm. I like this one a lot. This is actually really good. This one, it's like very little fat in it. <laughs> it's almost more like a jerky. Not as salty. It's pretty good. I actually really like this one. It's very lean. I like it more than I thought I would like it. I don't really know what the official name is. Good job, Lazo. Isn't it good? You like it? I do not like it. What? I do not like it. Why? I like that one. It's salami. It's like a lean salami. No? Actually, you like it? It's good, right? This is the aftermath. <laughs> <laughs> so we just got a table at this restaurant called Trattoria Milanese and uh, we got very lucky and got the last table uh, before they started turning people away and said it was a one hour wait literally in the nick of time so I don't know what happened but Mickey thinks it's because he looks Italian. It's carpaccio I think. Is it? Oh, that's different. It's like... What is it? Tuna. Really? It's delicious. That doesn't look like tuna. It's cooked tuna? Most delicious tuna in the world. Mm. The waiter recommended that this appetizer with tuna, papers. I'm not sure what's on the top of it, but I never would have ordered this on my own. He kind of just chose it for us, and it actually is like 
one of the most delicious things ever. I've never had anything like this in my entire life. Like it's cooked tuna, but it's like sliced cooked tuna. Okay, I just clarified what that was. It's actually sliced tuna with mayo on the top, capers, and I, it's like a tuna salad sandwich, but it's so good. Like I've never had something like that. It is just like very different, nothing I've ever had before. And I don't even know where you would even buy sliced tuna from. Like this is sliced, not like the kind you get in a can. This is the uh, risotto and asabuco. We're at this place called Gino Servillo. It's a famous pizza place here in Italy. They have several locations. We just sat down and ordered our pizzas. I really couldn't decide what I wanted to eat. <laughs> I ordered a margarita because I was overwhelmed by the menu because they have so many options. What did you order? And then Nikki ordered a margarita with sausage, almost the same thing that I ordered. It's been a rough morning. Last night, Lazo had a coughing fit in the middle of the night and he has this barking cough. Uh, he's a little under the weather, uh, as am I. I didn't sleep well last night because after he woke up in the middle of the night, I, we had to um, calm him down and see if we could get him feeling a little better. This is um, stuffed zucchini flowers with ricotta. This is apple spritz. I actually didn't like apple spritzes before, but now that I'm here, um, these ones are very delicious, so I decided to look up what exactly they are. According to Wikipedia, a spritz is a Venetian wine-based cocktail, commonly served as an aperitif, which I guess is like some sort of appetizer, in northeastern Italy. It consists of prosecco, digestive bitters, and soda water. It's poured over the rocks with a slice of orange and wine glass. It's pretty good, all in all. So in Italy, this is what everyone drinks. Sitting on the steps eating our sandwiches. Yes, see? <laughs> Is the sandwich good? No. No, 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 no. What? Why wasn't the sandwich good? The sandwich was good. No. We waited in line for 30 minutes for a sandwich. So. Or do you want gelato? We're here in, uh, what's this place called? This is one of the famous spots here in Italy where people come here to uh, shop. We're in line for some ice cream at this place. Something about Italian gelato. 
for them. Lazo, do you like gelato? I like gelato. You like gelato? Yeah. How do you spell ice cream in English? I C E C R E A M. But this is an ice cream. This is called gelato. Can you say gelato? This is called gelato ice cream. Yeah, gelato. Get off the ground. Dirty.